Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy M35 and today I will show you how you can put this device into the download mode. Now for this you will need to grab a cable, plug it into your computer as we do need to have cable and computer to do anything that isn't Android related so the recovery mode, download mode and all that stuff we need to have it plugged in. You don't need to have any kind of program or anything like that, it's just to annoy you. Let's be honest, there is no other reason. So, from here, I um, wouldn't actually plug it in just yet. So, anyway, let's uh, bring down our notifications and then select the power button and then choose power off. When the device turns off, you want to hold volume up and volume down at the same time and once you're holding those, plug in the cable. I'm going to grab it as it's going to be easier for me to hold both of these buttons. Plug it in. And there we go. Now this isn't uh, the download mode just yet. Uh, this is the warning page right before it. So it's the last two. Uh, a custom OS can cause critical problems in phones and installed applications. Um, that's a load of bullshit. Um, uh, basically what they don't want you to do is, for instance, flash it so you can use other software that they can't spy on. Because, you know, give us your money and all your data and privacy. Um, anyway, if you want to download a custom OS, press the volume up key. So that's what we're, gonna, what we're going to press. And you possibly just heard it connected to my computer. Now one thing that Samsung didn't mention right here, uh, which I assume is there's very little chance that they removed it, is that when doing so, meaning flashing a custom OS or unlocking the bootloader, um, because of uh, their consideration of your security, they're gonna remove a bunch of features from your device when the bootloader is unlocked. So number one, cameras go bye-bye, fingerprint unlock goes bye-bye, uh, the say the Knox security goes bye-bye. So basically, uh, Anything that you bought the Samsung for just goes out the window just because Samsung can't access your data anymore or because you flashed it and you have no access to cameras for some stupid reason because their idea is by unlocking a bootloader and using some third party uh, Android for instance of your choice the quality of the photos could be worse so it would impact their reputation in a shitty way. One could argue that not allowing you to capture any photos is a shittier option, but you know, it's Samsung. Honestly, um, when buying this device, you probably, you, know, you are obviously un not incentivized to unlock the bootloader or do anything with it, as it does limit the usability of a device for no reason other than because you. Um, so anyway, <coughs> let's unplug the device. Now, I'm not going to be unlocking the bootloader or anything like that. Uh, so in here, in this very dim screen, you can kind of see a little bit below that we can hold power button and a volume down. There we go. Uh, so volume down and side key, aka power button. These are all in a side Samsung. Um, so yeah, a power button and volume down for more than seven seconds. So that's what we're going to do. Now, realistically, you just want to keep holding them till the screen turns off. There we go. Now once it turns off you can let go of the buttons and the device will automatically boot back up. So you don't need to do anything extra, just wait for it to enter Android. And there we go. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.